It's going your way? Or my way? Oh, okay. Hi, it's me again. It's three o'clock Saturday, November 12th, 2016. And I'm gonna continue Jubilee. This time I actually have Jubilee in my studio. And I'm gonna work a little bit on the background and the shapes. I'm not sure I'm gonna to get to the purple today because I do have to let the background dry, but at least you can see today how the paper reacts with the paint differently than what the canvas does. It's actually really cool. I'm just gonna get, I have my colors. Scoop them out, put them on my palette. Jim's holding the camera for me. Hi, Jim. Hello. Thank you. Brenda's enjoying some family today, so. I got my yellowish color. And I have the red out. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna need is a big, big brush. I love hardware store brushes. Get it wet. Get it really wet. And now I'm just gonna go to town. Painting really loose. Take that off. And I got my sweet bottle. It's just water. That's all that is. And this is acrylic paint. Exciting, isn't it? And the exciting part, it's just fun to me anyway. See how the paper doesn't soak up as much color? Especially if it's wet. So I'm just going to wet all those papers. I'm going to put a layer of paper towel down because as you can tell, it's really drippy and it's really, really messy. as dark as that's going to get and I'm going to go in between and add more color. Now the part I'm painting now with the yellow is where the abstract design is going to go. So I only put Jubilee up on top. Jim, can you even see that? Yes ma'am. Okay. I'll just go ahead and paint in there. And I'm okay with how streaky it is for now. All right, so that's still wet and I wanna keep that wet. And I'm going to switch colors. I'm just gonna use the same brush and all I'm doing is just adding red to it. a lot of red and I'm going to go through each of these and I'm going to paint all my German dots. I'm going to need more red. already been in my studio today painting painting some stuff I had left to be done before I went to Mexico so and yeah I had this idea before Mexico too All right, let me water that down now if you notice the Jubilee ones they're not solid red well, and I know I'm painting them solid red here. 
But remember, the paper's wet and the paint's still wet. I'm just going to keep going. That's what all of them are built in. As you can tell, I'm okay with it going outside the, outside the paper dots. When you look at Jubilee, it does bleed out of out of it. So here I'm gonna go ahead and put some red in the background. Especially on the left side. Alright, now this is the fun part. Water. Okay. Here goes. I have no idea what's going to happen or how it's going to look, but again, this is acrylic paint and what's in the spray bottle, it's just water. the next decision is do I like the way it's dripping through here I love the way it's dripping I'm okay that it's gonna get the more purple shapes on top of it so these are gonna be obliterated anyway in a different way that's fine I like how the yellow orange on the reds coming out here I like how the whites coming through these papers that one's a little too dark so just add a lot of water I'm still thinking. And I'm still thinking. Alright, there's two things that I'm looking at that I'm not thrilled with. I don't, I dislike it when in a composition something gets cut right down the middle in half. I don't feel that's happening. What I do feel is happening is right in the middle, everything seems to be happening. So I want to change that. That's going to get helped. Changing that's going to be easier when this is dry and I add the purple. But I'm going to go ahead and try and get rid of that a little bit. Because I hate looking right at the center of a canvas. It's just bad composition. going. All right. Yesterday, I remember I said that the paper and the canvas will react differently to the paint. If you notice, the paper actually absorbed the colors a little bit differently than the canvas. So the canvas kind of stayed, I'm not sure how to explain it. There, there's like a layered look to the canvas and the paper looks more solid. So the paper got the color. You can't really see any layers here of color. You just see a color. On this section of the canvas, you see two layers of color. If you look at it, you'll see a red layer and you'll see that dark orange yellow layer. That, didn't, that doesn't happen with the papers. That all, oh, that's the cafetera. We got Cuba coffee brewing here. We have that too here. And there we go. So I'm going to leave that. And that's got to dry. You see, I'm going to actually step way back. So Jim, you can leave that camera on there. Ooh, I really like this. All right, for now, I'm going to let this dry. And then it'll be, now remember, this is not exactly alike. It's impossible. I don't even have that many dots on this one, but that's okay. The next step will be let this dry and I'll start rubbing in the shapes with charcoal, which was in one of my Altoid boxes from yesterday. Charcoal, yummy. Oh yeah, you can put charcoal in paint. 
So I actually have charcoal lines here that I you can see a little bit when you look closely. And that will be the next step. And then maybe add the color. So I will see you at another demo at another time. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, or maybe I'll just do one next week when there's no open studio. So I'll see you later, and I hope to see you soon, either here on Facebook or drop me a note or a private message. So, bye. Finish. <laughs>